In this video, we will look to create a pivot query where we aggregate our data according to categories. We will start by adding a pivot grid and connect a data source. Our query connects to the HTML5 con group connection and looks at trade performance. Check the pivot query box to open the editor's pivot configuration. Assign your independent column variables to the breakdown column. And then your dependent variables to your aggregate columns. For each aggregate, we define a function calculation for each variable. Here we're using a simple average, set in lowercase, as a selected function. Basic functions include average, min, max, count, and sum. But functions can also be written in Q should you wish. Next, we add the navigation element for the pivot. This is handled by a component called breadcrumbs. To create a link between the breadcrumbs and our pivot table, we have to set our path property in the breadcrumb. To do this, we'll create a view state parameter called link. Create the view state. The view state can be of type symbol in left blank. The breadcrumb has a second property called breakdown. Breakdown has again a view state, which we can define from the data editor. Roll over the breakdown columns and click on the eye icon to open the view state dialog. Create a new view state called breakdown and make it of type list. Add to the default value the set of independent variables been used and hit the value fresh to copy them across. Now take this newly created breakdown view state and assign it to the breakdown property of the breakdown component. Before we can test the preliminary interaction between the breadcrumb and the pivot grid, we have to link the pivot grid to the breadcrumb. This can be done using the focus property of the pivot grid, which will set to the link view state. We can then preview to test the interaction. To complete the dashboard, we'll add some visuals. The first will be a pie chart. Assign the pivot data source and basics before setting the data property. The data property series key will use a special key called breakdown ID. Breakdown ID handles the different category types of the pivot query. The layer series data will use return. We have to create the linkage between the pivot grid, breadcrumbs and pie chart by setting the link view state to the focus property. For a second visual, we will add a canvas bar chart and set the data source for the layer. The bar chart is set from the dropdown. The x-axis will use the breakdown D. The x-axis will use the breakdown ID and the y-axis will plot return. The focus property and basics also uses the link view state. We can set the y-axis to zero by unchecking the offset grid lines in grid lines y-axis properties. We can add a highlight rule for negative values. We set the rule target to wildcard and the rule sort to this or return. The rule operation was set to a value return less than zero. And finally, we can set a color for the highlight. preview to view the interaction between your components. Thank you for watching.